Good evening. I'd like to welcome everybody to our October 12th Village Board meeting. At this time, I'd like to ask everybody to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and then remain standing uh, for a moment of silence for our armed forces serving throughout the world. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. First up, I apologize this evening because I'm not feeling very well. I'm feeling under the weather, so if I sneeze or cough, please disregard it. But anyway, we'll try to carry on. So. First up, can I have a motion to accept the minutes from our regular scheduled meeting held September 28, 2017? I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Jess, can you please read abstract number nine? Abstract nine contains vouchers 170748 through 17836 and totals $348,456.99. Thank you. Motion to approve abstract number nine. Make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, we have an extra item uh, on tonight. It's a fire department membership. So may I have a motion to accept the membership application from, I hope I get this name right, uh, Yitz Choke Burnett. That's wrong? Yeah, that definitely wasn't even close. That's OK. But give it a shot. It's sock for now. Oh, that's pretty close. Considering I was sick. I mean, come it's on. For the Highland Mills Fire Company, he's already passed his physical. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Old business, Woodbury Junction snow bond release. Our attorney has advised there is no legal mechanism to refuse the return of the snow and ice bond money. However, if there is outstanding issues or concerns, the board can demand a plan from the homeowners association as to how they will deal with the continued maintenance of the roads, including snow and plowing, and proof that the HOA has the financial ability to do so. In addition, a letter has still not been received from the current owner of the development acknowledging that the former owner is entitled to have the funds returned to him. Therefore, a letter will be written to the HOA by the building inspector and copied to Mr. Brodsky and Mr. Kaufman stating the funds will be returned once the following is received. A letter from Mr. Kaufman acknowledging that the funds should be returned to Mr. Brodsky. A written plan from the HOA explaining how they plan to deal with the continued maintenance of the roads including a copy of a snow plowing road salting agreement. And third, proof of a recent financial statement from the HOA showing they have the financial ability to maintain the roads. Once all above is received, the item will be placed back on the agenda. Any further discussion on that? No, that's, that's great. Next up, we have a change order. Next up, we have a change order for curb driveway improvements for Jackson and Grant Avenue. So I'd like a motion to authorize me, the mayor, to sign the change order number one for the improvements to the curb and driveway aprons on Jackson and Grant Street. This change order is to extend the time period of the work and has no financial impacts. I'll make the motion. A second. Any discussion? Just a question for the highway superintendent. Uh, the state of the road right now is obviously in an unfinished condition. What's the plan for the winter? It has nothing to do with the road surface. Oh, Jackson, the curb. Jackson the will be resurfaced. The only thing we're not going to get to, we wanted to try to make the improvements on Grant Court this year, and now that we're running 
short on time. We're going to save Grant Court till April. Great. Thanks for clearing mm -hmm. that up. That's good. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. New business. Um, tax relevy for previous, previously exempt eligible property. Jess, can you please read the resolution? Whereas the owner of properties was or were eligible for a vet veteran exemption on property taxes and upon the sale or death, this exemption must be removed. And whereas notification was received by the village clerk on October 10th, 2017 from the Woodbury Assessor that prorated amounts needed to be relevied onto the 1819 taxes for this prop for these properties. Now therefore it be resolved that the village board directs the village clerk, village tax collector, and any other village official, employee or agent of the village to take any and all necessary actions to levy and collect the following amounts of the following affected lands in the same manner as all other village charges and to take any necessary actions to execute and record the lien upon such land. Um, for example, SBL 227-1-4, 74 Woodward Terrace, $371.09 for 2017, and $95.94 for 2016. SBL 235-2-13, 11 Tyros <coughs> Avenue, and that's $45.77 for 2017. Okay, thank you. Motion to adopt the resolution. I'll make that motion. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. <coughs> that concludes our official business for this evening. So with that, I'm going to go out to the public. Anybody in the uh, first row? Anybody in the second row? Yeah, James, do you want to step up to the mic and... You are the second row. <laughs> I didn't, didn't mean it that well, I, didn't, I didn't mean it that way. I, I feel like Donald Trump. I just put my foot in my mouth. Uh, Jim DeSalvo, serving districts 1289 for Woodbury. Stopping by at the meeting to say hello. Um, as always, I take uh, my lumps from the board or the public. Give. I, for one, want to say uh, you've been doing a great job. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Flutter. Second that. Thank you. All right. Well, thank you. Yep. Well, thank you, uh, James, and hopefully we'll see you at our next meeting. So it was an advantage. That would, be, that would be a Halloween meeting, and everybody's going to come dressed up for Halloween. So I'm going to come dressed up like feel a board free, member. Feel free to dress up. Uh, okay, I'll feel free to dress up, and I'll bring uh, plenty of candy. So okay. I don't want any tricks. So. No tricks. Not, not at all. Like Just make sure you come in costume. Okay. <laughs> I usually do. So. No. Dress up as a legislator. <laughs> okay. Uh, unless there's anybody else, I'm going to go ask Rob. I know he has a boatload of things to say. So, Rob, you're on. No pressure. <laughs> um, October 20th, we'll be hosting our uh, electronic drop-off. That'll be Friday from 2 to 5. And then again, Saturday, we'll be hosting it again from 8 to 1 on the 21st. And that will also include the shredding event, too. Um, the shredding will be there from 8 a.m. to approximately 12 or whenever the truck is filled. And the electronic drop-off on the 21st will be from 8 to 1. Um, no documents will be accepted after 12 if the truck is not full. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I just want to remind the residents to please drive carefully when the guys are out there working on the roads. Um, right now, we're smack dab in the middle of our road construction season. Um, after, after this week, we'll conclude that and we'll have resurfaced 17 roads in Woodbury this year. We were pretty aggressive this year due to the uh, low cost on blacktop. So uh, hats off to the crews how hard they've worked on these roads and uh, we'll be wrapping up probably by the 27th. Okay, thank you. Okay, I have a Rob question. Do you know the date for the uh, trunk or, and treat? The trunk or treat is gonna be on Halloween night, I believe, and I think they've extended it an hour, if I'm not mistaken. Six to eight, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Six to and eight. same place, Smith Cove Elementary. Seven, okay. The drop-off will be at the highway department, like always. 
Okay, thank you. Buddy? I just want to add, uh, as Rob was talking about our town drop offs, Orange County is having a household hazardous waste uh, collection event in uh, Newburgh on Saturday, October the 18th at the uh, Delano Hitch Recreation Center uh, where uh, residents of Orange County, you have to bring proof of residency uh, and you can drop off items like uh, uh, aerosol cans, cleaners, uh, all kinds of toxic uh, substances. Uh, the list of uh, acceptable items is available on the Orange <coughs> County website. That's it. Oh, and okay. And thank you, Rob, for the date on this Halloween night for Trunk and Treat. If uh, there's families out there that don't, aren't aware of it, it's a great event. Very safe for younger children. It's in the parking lot at uh, Smith Clove Elementary School parking lot, and it's a great place for the kids to, uh, you know, you've got to keep an eye on your children, but it's a great place for them to go around in a very safe, protected environment and get a lot of candy in a very short distance. It's always important. Thank you, Neil. The short distance. Short. Oh. So you can get. That's it? You no, just, that you can get more in a quicker period of time. Oh, I thought. And, there, and, there's, um, so, and there's so many kids, you was, don't know if they come back twice or three times. I was mentioning there. Um, I, so can I talk? Um, yes, I want to uh, recognize yes, uh, Supervisor Sutz and the uh, Recreation Department um, for um, 